All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Today, we're in Excel, and I want to show you how to build a histogram in Excel. Why? Because you need to understand how your data is distributed. Also, outliers. Are there extreme values that need investigating? A histogram will help you uh, reveal that, uh, that pattern and find those outliers. So let's go ahead and make this happen. We're going to make a histogram using Kobe Bryant's playoff career scoring game log. So let's get into this. I'm going to highlight my data here and hit control shift down. And then all you have to do in Excel 2016 or greater, it's a little bit uh, more complicated if you're not in Excel 2016 or greater, we're gonna go to uh, insert and we'll select histogram. It's that easy, but we have to know what options to select to make it visually appealing. So uh, I could manually format some things or I could do the easy button. So we're gonna go quick layout two here. What that allows me uh, to do here is delete the grid lines, delete that vertical axis that I don't need, and incorporate that Edward Tufte style minimalism. And so the data labels show up as well. So let's go to home and crank up the font there just a little bit. Now, one of the most important parts of any histogram is the bin size. So let's select the horizontal axis. I could right click here and select format axis or I could hit control one and I want to make sure that I have the axis option selected this kind of bar chart right here and bend width. So instead of 5.7, we're going to select five and we'll get this look right here. That's a lot cleaner. And obviously whatever number you select here is going to have uh, an effect on your visual. So if I make this 10, right, this is going to have fewer bends and our histogram is going to look a little different here. So I'm going to control Z out of this, uh, bring us back to five here. And also what I could show you here for bends, I'm going to hit control one this time. All right. So we're here. There's an overflow and an underflow if you want to use that. So if I said overflow, let's bend everything, uh, all games over 40 points and underflow any games under 10. And so you'll see I have this greater than 40 here and this less than and equal to 10 bin here while preserving that uh, five point uh, bin width that I had previously. Okay, so... I'm going to turn off the overflow and the underflow. Now let's interpret uh, what the brackets and the parentheses mean. So the brackets mean that the numbers are included. So there were nine games where Kobe Bryant scored between zero and five points in his playoff career. And the parentheses mean that the number is not included. So there were seven games where Kobe Bryant scored between six and 10 points in his career. And these are probably early games here. So if we look at the dates, Western Conference, uh, you know, first round, 2.6 points. Now, let's pretend Jalen Rose was guarding Kobe Bryant in his first playoff game. If I went uh, 81 here, the histogram is dynamic. This will update and you'll see we'll have that lone game here. So that was not the case. Jalen Rose was not guarding him. So we're going to control Z back out to uh, the correct value there. Okay. Last but not least, we can change the colors of our bar. So if I go in here and select the, uh, the fill option, um, we could go solid fill, select that. And we can change the colors here. So I like the yellow for the Lakers, but I could change this to whatever I like. And you can also play around with the gradient fill if you like it, that purple and gold feel. You can add uh, different uh, gradient stops within here and then change the, uh, the colors. But I'm gonna go back to the solid fill. Now I had a little fun. I created this in Excel, uh, just superimposed our histogram over a, uh, a wallpaper. And, you know, you could take something like this, put it in PowerPoint, have a little fun with it. 
Now here's that picture in PowerPoint, just had a little fun with it. Shout out to Josh Cottrell, uh, use his techniques to build out some fun stuff in Excel. If you wanna learn how to build this, maybe leave a uh, message in the comments. But let's look at this histogram. I'm still mad that the Lakers lost this game where Kobe Bryant scored 50 points. There's a lone game where Kobe scored 50 and the Lakers lost because the Lakers only had Kobe Bryant and the Suns had Steve Nash and a real good Suns team there back in 06, 07. Lakers just couldn't get around them. But in any event, Kobe Bryant should have been MVP that year back in 06. But in any event, I taught you how to build out a histogram in Excel. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.